the first uh, work that was being done, we were sent in groups of 10 or 20 into other houses because this was a huge area that had been completely cleared of people. Where the Jews, I think it was 40,000 Riga Jews had been in this ghetto and there were about a thousand left by the time we got there. And we were set about the task of cleaning out these apartments and um, getting the uh, clothing sorted to go back to Germany. So the food we weren't supposed to take, but of course we did. We, we were caught. That was the end of it. We were shot for these things, shot or hung. Then after that, we were sent to clean houses in the city to get them ready for the army. Or to, some people were maids in officers' houses. I was never that like. I worked in the port of Riga. We were working in the uh, port. We were sorting potatoes and cabbages and coal. We were unloading boats. And this was the first phase. And the Latvian people, some of them were very decent. They, without them, we couldn't have survived. I have certain instances we were, there were some very strict people, and we were young. We were uh, working very hard. And one day we got, uh, we were sometimes taken on trucks to pick food up from factories. And one day we were told to get on a truck, three of us. And the truck didn't go to a factory, but to somebody's private home. And they set us down on the table and they gave us food. And that day when I got home, my father had died. So this sticks out in my mind. And then they brought us back. There were some, without people that were decent, we would not have been able to survive at all. Even a, a sandwich if we got now and again. Mm -hmm. There were all kinds of work we did. Clean snow in the streets, so passers-by would give us something. From each family, maybe one got a chance to get outside, and it mm -hmm. was understood that you would bring stuff back to the. I mean, this was, uh, we were checked. We had these, uh, um, what do you call them, these things that you put food in that we went out with canteens, mm -hmm. and we would bring in some soup, and in the soup were all kinds, underneath was all kind of other food stuff that we could get. Uh, worked on a um, NAFI train, you would call it you know, with whiskey and uh, chocolates and cigarettes that we unloaded for the Navy. And it was unbelievable the way we had to steal. I didn't think I could ever go into a store again and not steal. We had, uh, had a coat and I had things hanging all over me. But this was the only way that we could survive. There was no other way. You would people would starve. They would they would just drop in the street and would die from hunger. There was no way that one could survive. If it was terribly cold, we would go out in the winter and our breath would freeze. Our eyelashes were full of ice. Uh, our, our feet we had we really didn't have proper clothing. We would put uh, pieces of material around our boots.